or 10 years ago now, uh, but you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't dream big. Uh, and why you, you know, if you dream big, you surround yourself by the right people, the right kind of positive people that you know support your dreams. Um, there's no reason why you can't be here today. Um, so. Hi, I'm Mia, and I was wondering, what's your favorite stroke? My favorite stroke. Well, I'm only really good at freestyle. <laughs> So I mean, freestyle is my favorite stroke, but when I was your age, I was swimming all of them, which I encourage you to do. Um, and then you know you'll figure you'll figure out which stroke is be becomes your favorite, and sometimes it changes over the years. Learn to love it. Um, I mean, certainly swimming can be a long process where you know you you are looking at the bottom of the pool and your you know your heart rate's going sky high and your body entire body hurts and you're tired all the time and. You know, from certain perspectives, that can totally be not very fun. <laughs> but, uh, you know, once you learn to love it and appreciate the process and, and understand that that work will eventually, you know, lead up to an outcome that you're looking for in the future, um, that's, that's what you kind of have to understand and embrace. And, uh, you know, it takes a while to, to do that the first time because, you know, you're kind of blindly doing it. But you, you, you really latch onto that, you force yourself to do it that first time, you work really hard an entire year, um, and then you get the outcomes that you want, and then it becomes contagious. It's almost like a drug, you know? You're like, you're like, I want more of that. I want more of that success. I want to work harder next year. I want to figure out how to get better and better and better. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a little bit hard at the beginning, but you just kind of got to grind it out. Mm -hmm. I guess, my best advice is to be malleable. You got to be able to adjust to whatever you think is going to work the best for you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it anymore. So, you know, being open to change and not know, not knowing what you're doing is the best. Even if you feel like it's the best thing ever, being you know, taking suggestions from other people and just trying something new because you never know uh, in what way you can get better.